Hi there, welcome back to Gate Galley. A cool fortress let's play from Mike and Nearly Half Dice. Ah, oh, what are we looking down here? We're looking at places to put beds. Looking at my deep down in the bottom of the world. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Place to, for all my uh, smelters and metal smiths. I'm a lovely person. I'm going to give them lovely coffers as well, because I love my dwarves and don't in any way abandon them to horrible deaths. I don't think I actually, actually I've not abandoned any of my dwarves to horrible deaths in quite a while. Um, you know, not that I should be starting or anything, but you know. Oop. Unpause. Oh, doopy do. Right, the merchants of Olman Mudong have depart on the bark of the journey, so it's midsummer. So the uh, humans have wandered off uh, in order to take their lovely trade goods with them, so that's good. Let's hope they go, you know, they've got good trade, so they'll they'll uh, feel happy about you know, bring more stuff with them. Sand was suspended. So let's unsuspend that and see what happens. Um, I don't know that I really need lots of gl green and glass blocks, but you know, what the hell. The more the merrier. Can't have too many green glass blocks. You probably can. Uh, green glass really isn't all that entertaining. Um, Really stop the make the manufacturing of steel doors. Uh, it's sort of extraordinarily unlikely that I'm going to need uh, anything there. You know, anything like the number of doors that are that are being made. Great on this wall is a masterfully designed image of Cypric bolt wipes the dwarf and a, and a slate amulet by Azin uh, No Kareth. Sibek bloat bolt ups raising the slate amulet. The armor place the marcel sl slate amulet created by the dwarf Sibek bolt wipes for the new gates at Gate Gully in the mid autumn of 136. That's not near as kind of nice, nice thing. That's about two years ago. Uh, I was looking at that because I suddenly noticed that there was this pillar. Now, obviously, there was this at some point, you know, when I was digging this out. There, were, yeah, this was made in several stages. At one point, there was just this. Random wall in the middle of it, which I kind of got rid of. It looks like I left a, a pillar, a single tile of, of rock. I don't want to get rid of it now. That I mean, it's just it just comes being a bit strange <coughs> sitting there for no good reason. Um, but you know, now it's got a masterful engraving on it. I don't really want to destroy it. So I think we can leave it for just now. Uh, meanwhile, up here, this is my other big bedroom project. Um, a combination of, of a lot of beds being put down and uh, I'm also smoothing out the existing bedroom that were down here, so they look nice. Um, and I may well engrave them as well, uh, just to really make, I mean, uh, it gives me a, a slightly better chance of uh, happy thoughts uh, for my little dwarflings. 
Linux is obviously a good thing. Because uh, the happier the dwarves are, the less likely they are to, to tantrum. And uh, the last great terrible thing to happen to the to dwarf, to, to Kate Gully was a, a it wasn't even there. There was a, there was a, an attack by some by I think it was a well is it at the time. But uh, oh, I've got some yellows. I'm quite content. So there's a few people who haven't slept without a proper room. That's interesting. This person's quite content, even though everything that's happened to them is quite nice. Slept in a good bedroom lately, recently. Admired the Texas Range building lately. Has been satisfied at work lately, but they're slowly quite content. Ooh. Oh, my interest, they, they will be um, sparring. Worried by the scarcity of cages and chains. That is a justice thing. Uh, cages and chains, 11 of 21. Um... Yeah, I don't quite understand justice. Um, these are these are cold cases from just. I don't know, anyway, so um, let's go back to the eleven and twenty-one. Okay, let's see. If, can I make can I make cages? Um, well, can I make justice? Now, my my current justice is all set up in here with these ropes and chains and things. Um, Trying to remember what it is. Cage is a J, and I don't think I would necessarily want a cage as such. Although I do have cage storage now, so that might not be a bad idea. Um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. There's restraints, I think. Um, which I think. There we go, restraints. Where's my cursor? So let's just chuck it. Seeing if this is important because it's, it's got clearly it's got decoration on it. Well crafted rope reed fiber rope. It is crusted with well crafted oval rock salt. What the fuck? It's gem rope. <laughs> wow. Gem encrusted rope, which wow. Made from rope reed fiber cloth. Uh, thread is emerald with emerald dye. So I think it's it's the you've got the quality of the item itself, so it's well crafted rope. It is encrusted so it's decorated. Um, and it's made from rope reed fiber cloth. And it's got bone on it. I don't think this is one I'm fairly sure this is not one of mine. Value 140. Maybe it is, I don't know. Well what the hell, let's use that then. Uh, I've already forgotten what restraint. V is restraint, so we'll just, we'll just make restraints like this. I made a restraint in the bedroom. That is wrong. What am I doing? Right, let's do that again. Put my cursor in the right place this time, which is here. Uh, that's interesting. I thought I had more ropes a moment ago. I reckon I know what's actually happened, that if I go into stocks and then uh, go to the enhanced view, which is E, and then no, um, down search is already enabled. Uh, so if I type in rope, that's not going to happen because it's rope read, so everything that's rope read will show up. So that's actually very annoying. Uh, That's really that's really aggravating. Um, so actually, well, yeah, okay. But the the reason I'm in, I'm, I'm I want to use the, the enhanced mode, which I can't use, is because I have a sneaking suspicion that the ropes are all uh, in a bin or a barrel somewhere, 
and when I first accidentally put one down to be uh, you know I put, I put down that ch the, the rope in the bedroom which I didn't want to do but some dwarf immediately went right I'll do that and they, they grabbed the barrel or something because I'm sure I'm sure there were more ropes that, that I saw more ropes available I'm really certain but you know, obviously it could be completely deranged Where's ropes? Do ropes even show up here? They might, they might count as chains. Uh, yeah. So I actually have lots of ropes, but for some reason, um, if I build a restraint, there's only three available. Which I have a sneaking suspicion means that, uh, like I say, someone's grabbed one. They've grabbed specifically a, um, a barrel full of them. But then again, maybe those ropes count because they're just, they're already, you know, normally that, that when they're, when you've, you've, when you've placed them in a building, then that counts as something else. You know, they won't just show up on your rope list. So Justice wants another two ropes. I could make, I could put cages, or I could just wait until um, another rope becomes available. I'm just really certain that I, when I first started it, when I made the one down here, That there were multiple ropes available, more than more than they're currently available. Um, so yeah, there you go. Sight ones, I'm kind of confused by because they don't, there shouldn't be any sites that are act, actually inaccessible. Uh, so I'm kind of curious as to why some places behave as if they are inaccessible. I should clearly, I've got a few bits of clay which have been left behind by. Uh, Caravans. I clearly need a place to put clay.
particularly interested in clay. I don't, I don't have any facilities for using it or, or anything like that. But hey. Okay, the smoothing's coming along nicely, that's nice. Um, I really need to sort out my haulers. need to find people who really aren't doing that many things, and then... Uh, no, that's not wanted. Um, number of total assigned labours I think is what I wanted um, so if I then sort by profession so I mean it's all like who do I who do I who do I you know who do I I give um Who, who, yeah, who don't who, who does not have have, have any side labors um, now I'm quite happy for my military to not have any labors that's fine uh, this medic here no position mayor manager chief medical officer, and duchess okay so you are exempt I'm fine with that squaddy is it ministry that's a bit weird Yeah, this is one of my Yeah, this is one of my squads, that's fine. Broken bookkeeper, again, I don't want them doing anything else, that's fine. Uh, and so everyone else is in the military. Uh, right, so people with zero assigned labours, that's fine. So maybe I need to start looking at People with right, if they've got one assigned labour. Now, if they've only got one assigned labour, um, yeah, masons. Well, generally, it's it's because of, you know they're on they're in some kind of thing where I want them only doing that one thing, but. Bothered. I might leave the masons for the moment. Uh, now this guy's got an assigned. Oh, he's a legendary woodcrafter. Uh, legendary plus one, in fact. So I should possibly take even take him out of, of the, the military. Um, carpenter. Planter. I like it. This, these planters could become whores. Whores like they do. I don't. I mean, because planters don't. You know, they plant right at the beginning. I mean, having having these, um, having planters plant right at the beginning is is very. Qu I mean, because that that means you get a lot of planting done very quickly. Um, I'm gonna leave the brew. Check if anyone's got. So you, you do cheese making. I just don't have any cheese to make. Um. That annoyingly that, that then resets the collapsed kind of labours thing I was doing. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to make these planters also haulers. Oh 
can't even click and drag properly. But, um, okay, so they are now going to be haulers. It's possible that that, 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 that that it's actually a really stupid way of doing things because maybe I want my planters to, you know, permanently be um, keep my miners. Now the, the 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 obvious advantage to having your planters uh, permanently, you know, lo like not doing hauling, is that um, you you don't you don't have the problem that um, you might otherwise get where um, you know, the season starts and you, a new a new planting season starts and. They're too busy hauling to actually get anything done, right? So they don't plant anything, even though planting is, in fact, um, you know, the, once once they've done the planting, I, I, my, they seem to do that quite quickly, and then they've got a lot of months just kind of sat around not doing anything. Um, my my number of idlers hasn't really gone down that much, so. I don't know that I've really achieved all that much here. Would help if I actually told them to designate and I didn't I didn't just quickly, you know. But never mind, eh? Oh I've I've just remembered I've remembered I remembered a thing I was gonna do. Um what I want with my um Oh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, um, what I want to do with uh, my 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 gems here is to put them on repeat. Right now, the 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 problem is I probably I may not have many of these particular gems. Right. Um, I may not currently have any of those, or I'll, you know, I'll run out. But because of what workflow does, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, because of the way workflow does, um, I think I've forgotten how that sentence was going to go. Because of what workflow does is, if they, if you have a, a, a task on repeat, even if workflow isn't in fact managing it itself, right? If um, if a job on repeat gets cancelled, um, it puts it back, only suspended. So I don't need to do that. Um, which has so so in other words, um, I can just go through here, right, and grab all the the gems that I seem to have. Um, basically, if this sea is lit up, then I I, I have them. Um, Now, if I so if if I do have those gems, then they will cut those gems, and I'll go from having rough gems to having cut gems. So that's great. If I don't have them, then they'll suspend the job. They'll cancel the job, but workflow will put it back uh, as a suspended job. And all that means is every so often, when I when I think I actually currently have quite a lot of um, gems that I've been cutting, I can just go through and unsuspend all those jobs. 
and the the gems I don't have, those jobs will quickly get cancelled and then re-added in a suspended state. And the ones I do have will get cut, and that'll be brilliant. Um, it's not quite... I mean, what I would really like is just have, whenever there are rough gems, please cut them. You know, or... or I mean, I, I may possibly want something on the lines of... Um, only cut certain numbers of, you know, only, only cut, um, make sure, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm not quite sure if I do want a supply of rough gems for any reason, I might do, so that would be the only reason not to do that, you know, not, not just have it on repeat permanently forever, um, I might in theory want to have, um, a supply of rough gems. I th the only the only reason I can think of having uh, wanting a supply of rough gems is for uh, weird moods because uh, they ask for weird things, and it's possible that from time to time they actually specifically want rough gems and not cut gems. But um, <laughs> you know. With uh, assuming that is not what's required, then you know, no particular reason to bother keeping rough gems. I'm going to grab more marble because I don't know. This is the caverns, and uh, I want to be careful about opening up the caverns. So, so this is not the caverns. Um, that's interesting. Why is no one digging? Because I've told them to dig somewhere else. I just, I just uh, designated a whole bunch of gems to be dug out. That's why. See, I did it like two seconds ago, and I've already forgotten. Um, so I'm just digging up some more gems purely to dig them up. I mean, at this level, these are Morions, and I don't, I don't think Morions are actually all that terribly valuable. Um, value six. Um, we can compare that with rough cat's eyes. Value sixty. Rough amethysts also sixty. Um, cushion pipe opal capuchons. Uh, what have we got here? There's Morions again. So, yeah, uh, you know, these cushion Morion Cabochons um, aren't really that much more valuable. Um, oh, ah, uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. Um, if we were to look into. Basically, looking for some rough gems of different values to compare. So, rough amethysts, uh, value 60. Nice. Uh, do I have a cut amethyst to compare? Zircon's value 60 as well. Ooh, purple spinels are 100. Didn't know that. Oh, sorry, that's rose, that, yeah, they're rose cut. Um, I'd want to get some rough ones to look at. Um, to compare. But I've been, I've been, I've been cutting all my, my, um, my gems for a while, so. I, I don't know that I got all that. I don't know that I had very many gems that are all that valuable. Seems to be worth about a hundred each, no matter what. I wonder if uh, cutting them is actually necessarily what I want to do. Um, green glass. I've got very few. <laughs> um, hang on, this is. Rough amethysts of value 60, so let's see if I can find uh, 
some amethysts. Some some cut amethysts. Oh, that's there's rough amethysts already. Brilliant cut. Yeah, so it seems to add about 40. Okay, we'll take them to 100 value. Um, so I guess it's that. I guess it's still adding value. I don't know if it's a multiplier or what to cut a gem, or it may not be. It may not even be a multiplier. It may be. Um, you know, you can use gems for purpose X, Y, and Z, but you can use. But you you can use rough gems for purpose X, Y, and Z, but um, certain things require. Certain things require um, cut gems, so it's it may not be a value thing. It may be more of a utility thing. I don't. That's probably yet another thing I should look up on the wiki. I should also um, smooth these these rooms here and engrave them in that um, to to match up with this lot. It also, I have to say, it also just looks nicer on the screen, that kind of look here, as opposed to, you know, that looks really rough and blocky and unfinished. Yeah, even with the ASCII, this is, this is not even using any kind of uh, graphics pack, this is just using the ASCII standard default. Uh, but, I don't know why I'm suddenly deciding to go on a gem hunting binge. Kind of suddenly felt the need for gems. Um, I mean, admittedly, you know, an awful lot of it is. is I'm, I'm going to want to make my royal apartments down here as royal as I as I possibly can, uh, even more than I actually need to. Uh, from the point of view of, you know, I have to get to a particular number. I need to get to. I looked it up. I was, I was, I was saying I worked it out. I didn't. I didn't work it out. I looked it up. Um, can I very quickly find it on my tablet? I need to get the value up to think. Was it ten thousand? Yes, it was ten thousand. <laughs> um. Yeah. But but you know maybe I don't need to have everything encrusted in lovely gems. But to an extent, I kind of want them to do that anyway. I just kind of like almost from like from a role playing point of view. My yeah, I'm I'm when I play this game, I'm pretending to be a dwarven administrator. That's very much you know, what my my current yeah, that, that's the attitude I should be bringing to this. I feel yeah, what would a good dwarven administrator want to do? Uh, admittedly, what a good a dwarven administrator wants to do is get to that adamantine, but. Um, don't think I'm going to be doing that in this particular game, this particular fortress. Um, might, if I do start up another dwarf fortress let's play, then I, I think it's very likely that I'll be rather more aggressive about finding uh, stuff like that. Uh, quite like the idea if I do another dwarf fortress let's play is to go down as deep as possible, just just as soon as possibly can, to find the the magma. Uh, you know, dodging around any other caverns because you know, because that they'll be they'll be full of terrifying things. But find the magma as soon as possible. And just you know, as soon as humanly possible, just have um, magma forges. Because uh, that that completely limits how much you need the horrible disgusting outside. And uh, that is that is all to the good. Uh, it does give you the opportunity to, to have a nice big long winding passageway for uh, caravans to come down. Either that or a great big huge passageway to bring trade goods all the way up to the surface. I'm not quite, uh, there, there is, there's always swings and roundabouts when it comes to fortress design because you've got this magma all the way down here. Well, in fact, this isn't this isn't even where the magma is. The magma is nearly 100 levels below this, um, which is quite a distance. Getting me some flux stone. I'm just getting lots of uh, flux stone in uh, preparation for um, yeah, the the assumption is that from time to time I'm going to need more uh, steel 
and you need flux stones to make steel. Uh, why are you flashing? Search on this particular thing. I'm trying to work out how that bow you got with it. They were fighting a crundle downstairs. Is that what was going on? I mean, it was by, by recently, it was like last year. see Lokem here in the fighting, so I don't know how he got injured. Um, not even down to sparring that I can see. What happened to you, strange dwarf? And in theory, you should have gone to the medical bay, but uh, it seems not. Set the hospital information. Got lots of thread, got lots of cloth, got splints and crutches. Uh, powder for cast. Oh, that's right, I don't have any gypsum. Um, traction benches one, boxes bags two, tables two. Beds twenty. Uh, and this is my hospital stockpile, which is uh, kind of empty at the minute. Probably should have set up, you know, especially for the food aspect. I should have set up something uh, so that uh, you know people know to get food. Why are you standing there? No job. You okay, go fair enough. Stand there because you got no to do. I'm not sure that's really an excuse. Yeah, I was going to make noble quarter out of quarter. I, apparently, when I made made this, I just assumed there's going to be many more nobles than actually there were going to be. Um, but hey. So I'm going to have a quick check to see if any of these bedrooms... These are now all bits sorted, so I can make them into bedrooms. Ah! So, you know, I want to see if uh, people actually do need these beds. They don't see, I mean, I've got, I've got a lot of nobody beds here, so I can only assume actually no. Um, everyone who can claim a bed has claimed a bed. Which is good. Um, so, the only thing I really need to worry about in terms of uh, accommodation is... Uh, if I run this long enough that uh, baby dwarves become grown up dwarves. I mean, I have had that happen. You know, it, it, there has been, I believe, there has been one person who became, uh, went from being a, you know, a child to being a peasant. Um, I can't remember if I marked them or gave them a nickname or anything. So, you know, don't know if they actually had skills. Um, some dwarven children do end up with skills. I would quite like, I got like a whole bunch of legendary bone crafters and stone crafters and stuff. And it'd be lovely if they suddenly, you know, became useful and, 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 and actually performed services for their, for the, for their society in which they live. Uh, oh, have I not... Did I not designate these to be smooth? I have not designated these to be smooth. How remiss of me. That would explain why uh, they weren't doing them for this bottom half. Um, I 
special not to smooth. There. I was wondering why they were so neatly, you know, only smoothing this bit and not doing anything down here. And it turns out because I'd forgotten to do that. Gems, gems, gems. Ooh, I just down to 13. That's the lowest it's been in quite a while. Can I build some more coffins? No, not because they're all they're all too good. They're all too good for my scummy towards. Um, they're probably. I mean. Again, I should probably concentrate on making uh, masterwork things, but um, masterwork steel, yeah, uh, which is what I'm what I'm been doing way down here. Uh, not way down here, way down here, Bleh. way down here. Bleh. There we go. Uh, I'm going to open up this. That door is open, it's good. Hey, I wonder if that... Because we did just get a delivery of um, stuff here. So I'm getting distracted again. But uh, some luminite did fall down there, so we'll leave that. Um, and we'll get these engraved. But... Um, Actually, probably do this better from this menu. Steel statue. Um, I've got a lot of really nice statues. Um, you know, so I've got some well-crafted ones and finely crafted ones. I think well-crafted is uh, really good. Uh, da, 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 da. I can change the minimum quality. So ordinary. So well, well-crafted, then finely crafted. Then superior. Um, so we've even got an exceptional one here. Which sounds good to me. Uh, so that'll be in here somewhere. Uh, so I probably have you know more than enough. Uh, which one's exceptional? I think is that exceptional. It's Three thousand. Superior. Exceptional is three things, so that's worth three thousand. So okay, then. I really, I really must learn the the proper the, the, what the decoration values are. So this is an exceptionally designed image of a Rakost mirror die, the dwarf and dwarves in steel by Dumet Smith. <laughs> Alilatel. Rakos Miradine is surrounded by the dwarves. How works related to the deployment of dwarf Rakos Miradine to the position of militia commander of the gates in the spring of mid spring of 133. Um, okay, so the that that triple equals thing. That's the I think that's the the closest yet. Yet the next the next one up down is the next one up is masterwork. I think so. I've got some. I've got a masterwork steel door apparently, which is worth 1500. Exceptional steel door, that's right, exceptional. Not masterwork. Uh, sadly, I do not have any masterwork doors. Uh, which would be a nice thing to have. I'm churning out things like iron bars, you know, faster than I can actually use them. And, uh, certain, and, and, and indeed, faster than I can actually get them. Plonked into stockpiles, uh, which again is another problem that I yeah, probably just do not have enough. Uh, I, didn't, I just don't have enough in the in the way of um, haulers, and and also the haulers are stupid, and they're, they're 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 grabbing bars from all sorts of stupid places and place them all the way down here. Um, I mean, maybe that is telling me that what I need to do is set up a bar quantum stockpile uh, around here, you know, 
somewhere somewhere in this area so that they grab the metal bars and chuck them down um, and chuck them here um, there's another delivery of um, stuffs down the big chute um, I'm actually gonna let that pile up for a bit I think um, what have you just gone to grab you grabbing some cloth are you taking an entire bin in order to do it because I haven't set up my cloth stockpile sensibly yet uh, so many things to do. Uh, any more gems to grab on this level? I'm going to designate some gems. And then, um, yeah, well, we're going to call it a day, I think. Um, right, thanks very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my usual call is to, to subscribe and like and things like that. Um, as pretty much everybody wants you to do if you are watching a YouTube channel. And you can also find us at www.nearlyenoughdice.com, which is our role-playing game-themed podcast and blog. But in the meantime, um, my 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 attempt to make some lovely royal apartments uh, goes on. Um, it is currently late summer, so soon it will be autumn, and hopefully the dwarven caravan will arrive, and hopefully I will have some interesting things to just give to the Dwarven Caravan, so I can just, you know, here, uh, have lots of stuff, and, um, make me become the mountain home. And, uh, so that's going to go on, and, uh, we'll see how that gets on next time, and until then, do have yourselves an extremely dwarfy day. <laughs>